Welcome to another video. This is your Tactical Power Pro, and today we'll be testing a Generac stepper motor. For this test, we do not need to remove the stepper motor from the mixer assembly. You just need access to the 10 pin connector, which you can find at the bottom of the generator controller. But first, you're going to grab your multimeter, set it on the ohms position. Then you're going to grab both of your leads, touch them together. And this will give us the multimeter's internal resistance. So we can subtract it to each reading we get when we're doing our test. Grab the stepper motor 10 pin connector and take a look at table 3-11 to see the resistance value we should get across each wire from test point A and test point B. Now set your multimeter to measure resistance. Set it on ohms and place one of your leads on test point A, which is your red wire. The second lead goes to test point B, which we will start with the orange wire. From red to orange, we get a reading of 11.8 ohms. From red to yellow, we got another 11.8 ohms. From red to brown, we have infinity. And that's a problem. That reading right there tell us that we have a faulty stepper motor. Let's read from red to black and we have 11.8 as well. Let's go back to red and brown. We have an infinity and we should have 11.8 ohms. But we do not have that. So that tell us that we have a bad stepper motor. So when testing your Generac stepper motor, use this table 3-11 and make sure that your resistance value between test point A and test point B falls anywhere in between 10 and 11.9. And you should only have an infinity reading from red to ground. And there you have it. The easy and correct way of how to test a Generac stepper motor. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.